Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. Today I'm going to show you seven simple inspections you can do once a year to save lots of money for sailing or cruising. Inspect your boat sails and repair your boat sails each year. Remember these are your main propulsion, not your engine. Remove all sails and canvas, and that includes bimini's and dodgers, from your boat. Take them down to your local sailmaker and have them do a head-to-toe inspection on your sails and canvas. Ask your sailmaker to beef up worn areas and add additional chafe patches to prevent problems in the future. Make this investment on your small diesel engine. All cruising sailboats abuse their diesel engines. We sailors just don't run our engines long or hard enough to make the diesel happy. Hire a top-notch mechanic once a year for one hour. Find a mechanic who's a specialist in your specific type of diesel engine. I hired a Yanmar specialist and he taught me everything I needed to know to keep the engine running at peak performance. And as a 10-thumb mechanic, I don't know anything about engines, but I do know how to follow a manual. The point of advice that he left me with time and again was to follow the manual to the letter. Do things exactly when they say to do them and do them the way they tell you to do them. I did that and my diesel ran all those years trouble free. You can follow this same strategy with your diesel engine for trouble free operation all year long. Clean and inspect your boat's bottom. Do you sail in fresh water or salt water? If you sail in salt water, your bottom gets fouled after a few months dockside or at anchor or mooring. If you don't haul out, hire a diver to check the bottom, propeller condition, and rudder. Keep them clean and barnacle free for peak performance. Test every seacock. If you haul the boat, you need to break down every seacock, inspect the internal parts, and grease the fitting. Use silicone waterproof grease to prevent damage to rubber parts. Keep your seacocks in top condition so that they serve you for years to come. If you haul the boat, unstep the mast. Otherwise, you or a rigger must go aloft to check mast tangs, spreaders, spreader boots, and halyard blocks. Check all of your running rigging and replace any rigging that's worn. Keep your mast in great shape and your sailing rigging strong to prevent failure in the future. Check for leaks below decks. Look around ports, hatches, and beneath chain plates. Use a flashlight to peer up into an area where your chain plate backing plates are located. Look for signs of moisture or rust. Do the same for Genoa track or tow rails. Move to the V-berth or forward cabin and inspect for stains on the sides of the boat. Open up the anchor locker, empty the locker, and inspect the void all around. Clean your locker, dry it out, and address any leaks now. This will help prevent mildew damage to expensive rope road and corrosion to thimbles and shackles. Conduct a complete anchor road inspection. Remove all anchor road and chain from your anchor locker. Inspect every inch of the line, give it a fresh water washdown, and dry it out. Do the same with chain. Check and replace corroded or worn thimbles, shackles, and shackle pins. Inspect the wire or nylon ties used to hold your pins in place. Keep your ground tackle in top shape for safer sailing anywhere in the world. Follow these seven easy sailing tips once a year for stress-free cruising or sailing. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.